For today's bite, I want to show off some of the OneGraph Graphical Explorer improvements that we've been working on, uh, which is our open source graphical extension that you can pop into any graphical instance and it will allow you to explore your GraphQL service in this kind of nice visual tree-like manner. And there are quite a few uh, improvements here, so I'll just kind of dive in. Uh, first and foremost, we now support multiple queries, or sorry, uh, multiple operations. So in this case, we have a single unnamed query but I'm gonna go ahead and add another query in here. And you can see that it gets its own uh, query entry and I'll add a mutation while I'm at it. And I can still use this just like I would beforehand. So if I go in, for example, to uh, Spotify, I'm gonna search for a track, let's search for Daft Punk, Instant Crush, and I'll get the resulting tracks. And from those, maybe I wanna pull out their ID. And so you can see I can come in here and very quickly um, just pull out the fields that I want. And in this case, uh, you'll notice that this is an unnamed uh, query, and that's okay. Like we don't force you to uh, name your queries. Uh, we can kind of continue to explore and not be blocked. But we do show you that first, whenever we generate a new query, we do give it a random name, um, a unique name that kind of indicates that this can be named. And we also have this input box over here. So I can say maybe search song, and this is a nice, gentle way of teaching users that, hey, this is possible. It's not necessary, but it is possible. Um, and some of those come in here. I may want to say another query. And now whenever I have this dropdown, you can see that I get this nice option for which query I want to run. I'm going to remove this query. And now with mutations, you can see that mutations only have the mutation fields rather than all the different query fields, as it should be. So I'm going to come in here, and instead of one graph, I'm going to Spotify and I'm going to pause the player and I'll get the resulting player and I wanna know whether or not it's playing and maybe the progress. And I'm gonna call this one pause. And while I'm at it, I'm actually, I see that I'm gonna probably use these fields over and over again. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna turn it into a fragment. Let's call this player. And now I'm going to jump into a fragment player on Spotify player, paste that in. And now you can see that I'll take this out. Uh, now you can see that I actually have a fragment inserted over here as well. So we pick up on the type and we show you all the fields that belong to that type. So maybe, for example, I want to pull out uh, the repeat state. And this is another nice uh, advanced feature. This is not always a good idea, but we've added this in because a lot of people asked for it. If you know what you're doing, you can hold on option and click, and it will actually select all of the subfields for you at once. So maybe I wanna go into item, and I wanna pull out all the different fields inside of album and artist, href, so let's pull out all of those. You can see I can very quickly build up a, a big query with all of the data if I wanted to. And now this is gonna go ahead and run on this pause. And I'm gonna add one more here, another mutation, and we'll call this one resume. And we're going to, again, Spotify, and we will resume a player. We'll get the resultant player. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add that uh, fragment in. We'll move the one graph there. And I guess uh, for a full player, we'll go ahead and do next. And let's see, we'll do Spotify. Skip next track, player, same idea. So we're gonna go into here, player. And now finally, uh, for a full player, let's go ahead and have a play option. And I want to play a Spotify song. So we're gonna do a play track and that's gonna be parameterized by a uh, track ID. And again, same idea, player will pull in that fragment. So this is gonna be track ID and track ID is a required string or a list of tracks. All right, I guess we can uh, actually parameterize it like this so we can only play a single one. And now it's happy. And now one of the cool things is uh, we, we built up actually this full player here. You can see I have search, pause, resume, next and play. Uh, so this is basically a full Spotify player that we've built up here that's going to have lots of data and able to interact with the service. But it's also a big document. And I may want to, it makes it difficult with so much scroll space over here to know where these things line up. So again, you can come into one of these, you can uh, hold on option or alt and click, and it will jump you to the entry over here. So if I'm looking for my uh, play, for example, 
jumps me down to play or next same idea so this gives us the ability to really build up big documents with lots of operations uh, we can still jump back and forth between them we can handle all the fragments and whatnot in a really really kind of gentle uh, way so it's, it's a, just a lot of fun to explore an api this way and that's what we've been working on uh, for the past couple of days